Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Mackenzie. Today I'm gonna to be doing my DVC recap video, just explaining my experience using DVC points on my last trip to Disney World. If you missed my last trip vlogs, my family and I went to Disney World. We used DVC points, we actually rented confirmed reservations, which I'll get into in a minute. But I got so many great questions about just the DVC rental process, how much it cost, how easy it was to navigate, and I'm hoping that I can answer them in this video for you guys. I wanna preface by saying that I'm in no way an expert on DVC points as far as Disney goes. This was our first time utilizing that process. I really just want to give you guys a starting point so you can kind of see if it's something that you would be interested in. So I have on my phone some notes that I want to cover in this video. And first let's start with just some like DVC lingo, some background. So if I use these terms, you kind of know what I mean. So first of all, you might be wondering, what is DVC? And DVC stands for Disney Vacation Club. And Disney Vacation Club is essentially Disney's version of timeshare where members can buy into DVC resorts. So they buy into these resorts and get points. They're able to use these points at their DVC resort or other DVC properties. Very simple version of that. Essentially a timeshare process as far as Disney goes. And yeah, that is what DVC is. There's way more of an explanation, but that's just how I understand it in a very simplified version of it and then the next thing is so what is renting dvc points so renting dvc points is basically someone that is not a dvc member that is using that member's points to book a reservation for themselves so the dvc member is either not using their points or the reservation that they have booked and they are essentially reselling those points or reselling that vacation to someone that maybe isn't in dvc or maybe a dvc member who doesn't have enough points to book their vacation and why do people do this basically it's a way to save money on the really beautiful wonderful DVC resorts on Disney property most of the time if it's a DVC resort it's also one of the deluxe resorts on Disney property so there's really top tier Disney resorts where you can get extra such as extended evening hours just have all the amenities of the resort offered to you at a discounted price so that's kind of the lingo as far as DVC goes. Again, it's in very simple terms as how I understand it. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into my process now, which is really what this video is about, just my experience using DVC rental websites and services. So as far as our trip went, I went to Disney with my family in July. All of those vlogs are posted, by the way, if you haven't watched them, I will leave the playlist down below. But we went to Disney in July and we wanted to have a more relaxing Disney trip, as relaxing as a Disney trip can be at least. So we knew we really wanted to prioritize spending time at the hotel. And as we were thinking about that, we really wanted to stay in a deluxe resort for our stay. That way we could really have access to the amazing pools and restaurants and amenities there. And we also decided that we wanted to do a split stay because we've never done that before. And it would give us the ability to try two different Disney hotels. And that's kind of how we landed on doing DVC points. We stayed at two different resorts. We stayed at the DVC portion of the Polynesian Resort and we stayed at the DVC portion of the boardwalk resort so let's just go ahead and get into it let's see what's next okay so when you're renting dvc there's essentially two options you can either browse like availability so if you go on to some of these dvc rental websites you can put in the dates that you're planning on going to the parks the hotel you want to be in check availability if there is availability then it'll allow you the option to kind of go through with that and then they have to match you to a member that will book that stay those do tend to book up really quickly for very specific dates and a lot of the hotels book up really quickly like the riviera the Paul Polynesian, those are usually gone pretty early on. So we decided to go the confirmed reservation route, which is the other way you can rent DVC points. Essentially, these are reservations that were booked by a DVC member. Maybe they can't go on that trip anymore, or maybe they booked them because they were available and they wanted to resell their points that way. And that's the route we went just because we knew we were going for a shorter trip and we were planning like just a few months ahead of time. So I feel like these confirmed reservations are really good if you have flexibility in your schedule. Maybe you're going for a shorter trip. A lot of times there's like a two to four day sweet spot for these confirmed reservations. Like that's the bulk of them that I've seen. They've been like two nights to four nights or even one night sometimes. But really long reservations, I feel like are really hard to come by as far as the confirmed reservations go. I'm mainly going to be talking about the confirmed reservations because that is what we used for both of our reservations on this Disney trip. We used two different 
DVC companies. I'm gonna start with the Polynesian because that's where we stayed for the first part of our trip. So the Polynesian, we stayed in a deluxe studio for two nights, that was the plan. And when we started browsing confirmed reservations, we knew like a time frame of when we wanted our dates to be. And we found it on DVC-Rental. So I'm gonna put the website below and I'll put them in the comments as well so you guys can check them out. But we found the dates we were looking for for the Polynesian on this website and we were like, okay, we gotta do it. So basically we started, we knew we wanted to stay in the Polynesian. We looked for that reservation, found it. The process for booking was essentially we paid a $200 deposit and then we requested to book that reservation for us. We had to put in all of our party's names and then we got an email saying it would take a couple of days just to confirm with the DVC member that booked that reservation, transfer everything over it, everything. It took less than 24 hours. We got an email that said that everything had been confirmed and we had to finalize our payment. I do think a lot of DVC websites do have a couple of different payment options. However, we were really close to our trip and so we had to pay everything in full. The day we got the confirmed reservation. That reservation was confirmed. We got an email saying it was confirmed, everything was transferred over, and then it gave us the confirmation number for the room. So once you got that confirmation number, it was very, very simple. I think I'm gonna put it over here on the screen of what I'm talking about. We just went into the Disney website, went into our plans, and there was a place to add a hotel confirmation. We copy and pasted that number, put it in, and then all of our names and stuff showed up, our reservation showed up. It was just like a normal Disney booking, basically. The only thing to note is that with these DVC reservations, you can't like modify the reservation. So if you book like a normal stay through Disney, you can modify the room type or see if there's any special or anything available with that room. With this, you cannot do it because it was booked from the DVC member and they just transfer the reservation to you. So just keep that in mind. You know, the room that you're getting when you're doing that confirmed reservation is the room that you're booking and you won't be able to change that. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, let's talk price for this and savings because I think that's what people are the most interested in. We paid $1,150 for two nights at the Polynesian in a deluxe studio. So that's essentially $575 a night. I did look because I knew I was going to make this video and for those same dates the room was going for $6.98 a night. So over $100 a night in savings which for a Disney Deluxe Resort I feel like that is great. I know that the Polynesian it's still a very expensive price. This was a trip that was like a luxury kind of trip for us because we really wanted to spend time at the resort. We only had two days of park tickets so we put more of our money into the resort for sure but I feel like saving that much money on the Polynesian was just incredible. I feel like if you're looking into doing deluxe options, maybe you are just already set like, okay, we're gonna do, do deluxe, we're gonna pay the money. Look at doing DVC first to see if you can have some savings because if you have some savings, maybe you can add something extra to your trip with that money that you're already planning on spending. And then when I get into our next one, I'll kind of show you sometimes you can get these reservations for deluxe resorts for the same price you would pay for a moderate resort through a regular booking. So there is some really great savings that you get with DVC. I just want to say for her, the DVC dash rental company, we had a really great experience with them. No issues whatsoever. Honestly, with either of the companies, and I'll get into the next one, we had no issues. It was a very seamless and smooth process. I will say like some of their information on the email is out of date. It was like talking about the Magical Express and stuff, which RIP to the Magical Express. I do think if you were someone going to Disney for the first time, this would be a little more of a difficult experience to navigate. I'm very comfortable working like my Disney experience and the Disney website and booking things through that on my own. Maybe just do a lot more research before you go into the DVC process. It's not complicated by any means, but I just feel like in order to really understand it, be able to transfer everything over seamlessly, you need a little bit of experience with booking through the Disney website on your own. But with that being said, I feel like the Polynesian, it was so worth it. We had an amazing stay there. We got to experience the pool there, watch the fireworks on the beach. It was just great and incredible. And I'm so happy we were able to stay there and part of the reason is because we saved $200 for the two nights to really be able to use towards flights and stuff and other things. So I think that was definitely worth it for us for sure. And moving on to our next DVC booking, for the next two nights of our trip, we wanted to stay at a different DVC resort that we've never stayed in. My mom's dream resort to stay in has always been the boardwalk. So when we were browsing other websites, looking through their confirmed reservations, we found two nights that lined up perfectly after our Polynesian nights and we just had to go for it. So we booked our stay at the Boardwalk Villas in a deluxe studio for two nights. Now these rooms are completely newly renovated, completely refurbished. I said in the vlogs, these are the best rooms I've ever stayed in on Disney property. Just 
just everything was so well done. But we use DVC shop rentals. So rentals.dvcshop.com. Again, I'll put everything down below and on the screen. But so this was a different company, a different kind of process a little bit. We selected the confirmed reservation that we wanted, put in all of our information. They sent us an email that it could take up to like seven to 10 days for the reservation to be confirmed over to us. They also recommended in the email, like do not book flights or anything until you get the confirmed reservation, like the confirmation and everything. But within 24 hours, we had that and we were able to go ahead and just transfer everything over. Now for this website, we did have to pay in full when we requested the confirmed reservation. I don't know if that was because our trip was so close, just a little bit different. They did say if they weren't able to confirm the reservation, like you would get a full refund. So, I mean, yes, it's a lot of money up front, but this trip was so close that we already had kind of budgeted and planned to pay everything up front because it was like within 60 days when we booked everything. But yeah, so we once we got our confirmation email, same sort of process, went onto the Disney website and put it in the reservation. All of our names showed up with all of our cute little characters and we had our Boardwalk Villas reservation under our account as well. So as far as pricing for the Boardwalk, we paid $880 for two nights and that includes taxes and fees. So essentially that was $440 a night for the Boardwalk, which is just really good. And again, I looked around that same time, the Boardwalk a Deluxe Studio Room was going for $606 a night. So for that one, we saved nearly $200 per night for the Boardwalk, which is just incredible. It was a great experience, especially in the newly refurbished rooms. I felt like those rooms felt way more worth the money than any other room I've ever stayed in on Disney property. Just like the detail, everything was so good. So being able to save that much money was great. And because we were staying in the Boardwalk, we were there on a Monday night. So we had access to deluxe evening hours at Epcot. We were able to walk on over and yeah, that's because we were staying in a deluxe resort. So even staying as a DVC rental member, you still get access to those perks like extended evening hours. So that was really great and allowed us to have a really great night in Epcot staying at the Boardwalk. So yeah, that's kind of how we booked our process and our experience with them. I do have a couple tips for you guys if you're planning on doing the DVC rental process. First of all, if you want to browse like availability, doing it the different way than we did it, that window really only opens 11 months in advance because 11 months is when DVC members can book at their home resort. At that 11 month mark is when you want to get on and start looking for availability as far as your DVC browsing reservations go. And then if you're doing a confirmed reservation, try to be flexible with your dates. Like even just a couple days before or after the trip can make a huge difference and open up a lot of availability for you guys. Another tip that I have just in general, there are so many different websites out there that I have heard amazing things about. I will link a couple of them below that I know friends or family who have used these websites and had a really great experience with them. I also know that there is a Facebook group and several Facebook groups honestly where you can go on and exchange these rentals with members. I just urge caution using Facebook because I have seen lots of people get scammed. So I do recommend just go the safe route and use one of these websites that pretty much makes you sign a contract. It makes the DVC owner sign a contract too and will refund you your money if they aren't able to confirm the reservation for you. Just do your due diligence and really look into all of your options when you're doing that. Like I said, I haven't heard of any problems with any of the websites that I use or that my friends and family have used. So I will list them down below for you to look at. I got lots of questions just asking if the experience was worth it. And I would say absolutely yes. And lots of questions just asking if we would do it again. And I also would say yes. I really want to try, I think next time we rent DVC points to browse the availability and do it that way, just to see if we can get exact dates for our trip, because I think that would be really fun and would open up a lot of different options as far as availability at hotels. So with that being said, that is my little DVC rental recap, a nice, short, sweet little video that hopefully gave you guys a little information and insight into my experience renting DVC points through a confirmed reservation. Thank you guys for all of your questions and just all of your interest in this topic. I had a lot of fun just doing extra research and trying to figure out exactly how to present this information to you guys. Again, in no means an expert, but just felt like my experience was worth sharing to hopefully help some of you if you are interested in renting DVC in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!